Keep up his 10-goal form. Mika Hyde was missing through suspension. So was Arsenal's Ray Parler. Tony Gubber was at Vicarage Road. He's losing it. Sulkin. Pires. Vieira breaks from midfield. Henri. Kanu. Oh, that's neatly done. Henri, simple. Watford have appealed unsuccessfully for offside, and Arsenal have taken the lead. It always looked dangerous. Carnu here. Now, was there an offside? Well, well, you're not offside if you're level with the last defender, but Watford will argue long into the night that that goal should not stand. produce off the back of that early goal if they settle down and begin to enjoy the event and the occasion maybe a torrid afternoon for Watford and here he is he's in again oh lose it's too easy Lomberg gets number two we've not had ten minutes and Arsenal are in total control and it could be a torrid afternoon for Paul Watford wonderful one-touch football so incisive Henri generously putting the ball into the middle and Freddie Lundberg scores his ninth goal of the season. And in the blink of an eye, it appears, Arsenal lead by two goals to nil. Well, this FA Cup has produced wonderful occasions and surprises over the years. Maybe this isn't over yet. Van Bronckers concedes the corner. What can Watford produce from this? Stewart stays on his line, hooked out by Luzhny. Back in by Fiskins, a great header! Oh, that's exactly what Watford required! A super header from Noel Williams, and what a start! We've not had 15 minutes, and Jan Luca Vialli starts to believe again. Hooked out from the initial corner by Oleg Luzhny, and then knocked back in by Fiskin, and what a good header by... Gift and Noel Williams. Stuart Taylor on the line, hardly moved. This is Bonazza. Oh, poorly done by Bonazza, given straight to the feet of Perez. He's got Henri in the middle. Here's Henri who let it run. Carney was behind him. Oh, Watford are allowing Van Broncos to get that shot in, which Chamberlain did well to turn away one handed. They just look a little bit slow at the back occasionally, Watford. They're caught by the pace of the Arsenal attacks. Still the danger hasn't passed. Arsenal with the free kick. Nielsen's header. Cole. And hit Vega. This is Luzny. Lifted in by Campbell was his central defensive partner Martin Keown trying to profit from that ball lifted forward by Sol Campbell oh good work here oh, what a nice bit of footwork by Tommy Smith who's not had many opportunities in this opening half to show what he's capable of but he dribbled his way past three or four Arsenal defenders Perez, Lundberg, Gale covering Luzhny, concedes a throw. Lundberg, Henri lets it run on, Kanu! Side netting. And once again, he slipped beyond the the Watford defence was a lovely move by Henri, who just let the ball run on to his striking colleague. But then did he take too long? Vieira slipping away from Vanazza. Chips it over the top for Van Bronckhurst! Offside. Or oh, was it handball? Goal won't count anyway. Yes, the referee 
indicating that he feels Gianni Van Broncos control that with his arm and his hand. Now, Perez with a bit of space in which to operate. He's got Henri left. There's no support on the right side. Henri. Oh, what a wonderful ball delivered in by Henri. It was just a, an ounce too much on it, really, for Perez. Vanazza, who comes out with it for Watford, is a bit short of Marcus Gale. Here's Carnu to Lundberg into Henri, good touch, Vieira, good block. A shot by one Frenchman, blocked by another. Watford have been opened up, Vieira with a chance on his left foot, and Patrick Blondeau throwing himself in front of it. Henri and Carnu inside that six-yard box, defended at the near post by Blondeau. Here's Perez. Carnu. Vieira. Henri. Here's Vieira. Good skill here by Henri. Vieira arriving at pace, but with too much pace. Campbell, good ball to find Carnu. Vieira's broke. Oh, it's a wonderful break from midfield by Vieira. Well found by Carnu. Carnu's header. Oh yes. It's 3-1 to Arsenal. Carnu with the header, wide of Alex Chamberlain to restore Arsenal's two-goal advantage. Here's Fiskin. Finally cleared by Vieira. Here's Perez. Oh, Carter's not offside. He's in on Chamberlain. Is this for? Well done, the goalkeeper. Perez, it's still not clear. Well, Arsenal with the chance then to really wrap it up. And Alex Chamberlain spread himself. Perez with the follow-up shot that was wide. Fiskin. Out by Perez, Watford's throw. Well, there's enough of this match left for the Watford goal to make the conclusion of this cup tie still interesting. Here's Vanazza. Left foot! Well, wouldn't he love to score against his old club? are completely dictating the, the pace of the game at the moment. Keogh. Carlo to Campbell. Van Bronckhurst lose the... Watford can't get near the ball. Arsenal keeping possession, probing and... Searching for an opening, maybe Perez has found it. Got Van Bronckhurst ahead of him. Here's Van Bronckhurst back to Perez. It'll be a corner. It should have been Arsenal's fourth after a, an attack which must have involved two dozen passes. Perez was presented with what appeared to be an open goal. Van Bronckhurst will take the corner. Headed out by Noel Williams. This is Cole. Van Bronckhurst. Cole. Viltor takes over. Back to Ashley Cole, who's in on Chamberlain. Bergkamp will not miss. They have clinically taken Watford's defence apart. And Arsenal cruise through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. to Helgeson. Good delivery. Oh, it got away from the keeper. Here's 
Tommy Smith and he's back to goal. Gale! Oh, what could have pulled another one back? Marcus Gale, but surely it's too late for the home side. The ball played into the six-yard box, wasn't dealt with initially by Stuart Taylor, it got away from him, and then Marcus Gale with his left foot to score his fifth goal of the season. Well, Vicarage Road would certainly erupt if, if Watford were to score another one. Keown has played that back to Stuart Taylor, who got rid of it quickly. And Arsenal cruise through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Arsene Wenger's team scoring twice in the first nine minutes. And maybe then took their foot off the pedal a little bit. Watford were well beaten by four goals to two. Arsenal, a highly satisfactory afternoon for you. Yeah, we did. We were serious and had a good start. And after 2 0, Watford came back to 2 1. and. Uh, but uh, we kept things going and uh, relied on our passing and did it well and scored the third and the fourth goal. And after that, the game was over. We made mistakes, but in a way, I think that they kind of forced us to make mistakes because they've got so much quality in the side. And uh, when they go forward, they, they really, they're really frightening. Well, you're progressing in the FA Cup, still in the Champions League and third place in the Premiership. That's three trophies to aim for this season. Yeah, exactly. But uh, at the same time, you shouldn't uh, be big-headed or anything. We just try to work for every game, and in the end, we, we'll see where we are. Do you have a priority, FA Cup or Champions League or Premiership? Well, at the moment, our priority is to win every game. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not... But we try, just try to achieve that, and uh, later we'll see. He always looks so thrilled, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, awesome. But um, he must be pleased with that comfortable win, was it? It was comfortable, and what you had was a poor defence against a fantastic attack. If you're playing against a moderate attack, Right. and you don't defend as a unit, you'll have problems. But when you're playing against pace and movement and class and quality and technique and finishing, you're liable to get absolutely decimated, and that's what happened. Too many times you get three out, one in. And here we have it, Cano on the ball, one defender in, three out, played in, Henri on side. He walks into the back of the net. And after that, Watford are always going to be chasing the game. And they come out, and as I say, if you give time and space to players like Perez and Canu, you're always going to have a problem. This is a fantastic save. This move here is the 23rd pass when we pick it up. And Perez goes forward, plays a 1-2, gets it back. I think he's had a, a bet on Arsenal to win 3-1 here because he didn't want to put it in the back of the net. <laughs> but the movement and the pace, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I thought they had an extra man, i got to say. Uh, Bill Todd and Bergkamp on now, but, you know, that's, this is a side that's hungry. They're 3-1 up, they could be cruising, but, you know, it's like five-a-side football. Uh, when they're, we're passing and moving like that, and, they're, you know, they're, they're terrific. And it is the example of a side full of confidence when you've got so many options with a person who's got possession of the ball. They're, they're looking great at the moment. And, of course, you were just joking about that bet, weren't you? Of course. Of course. <laughs>